Today is Friday, February 23rd, and the time is 7.08 a.m. Just landed in Chicago, y'all. Let me tell you what I did today. I'm finna come along with me on this sport day, okay? Okay, so boom, okay, so boom. Last night I did Houston to Vegas, and then I did a red eye from Vegas to Chicago. I usually avoid red eyes like the plague, y'all, because one thing about me, I'm not gonna work no red eye if I don't have to, but open time has been a hot mess. So I was like, I cannot afford to drop this trip. Let me just tough it out, puff it out, okay? And the Lord got me through. But yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all more once I've had my nap. Your girl has been up since 6 a.m. Um, yesterday, so I've been up 24 hours now. Definitely finna take a shower, lay it down. First though, hold on. Okay, boom. Guess the hotel, y'all. Hey, guess the hotel. Y'all already knowing what we finna have for breakfast. I know. I know, y'all. Why am I having cookies for breakfast? This is my favorite cookie, y'all. I love these cookies. Y'all already knowing. Y'all wanna taste? Okay, let's eat it together. All right, y'all ready? Take a bite. Take a bite right here. Take it. Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna take one. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. For sure, you're right on. Okay, because I did meal prep, so after this, your girl is not leaving the hotel, okay? Not leaving the hotel the entire trip. But I'm actually going to go get some um, deep dish pizza. Y'all know Chicago known for their deep dish pizza, okay? So pizza place that I'm going to is called Giordano's. I don't know why my computer said it was a 22 minute walk, but my phone is showing an hour seven. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, and it's very cold out here, y'all. Let me show y'all, let me show y'all the weather, okay? Oh, I did not know. Well, it say it's raining, but it ain't raining out there. Currently 47 degrees, okay? And it said it was supposed to be windy today. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm walking. Like, I already told y'all, like when I was based here, the walk from the train to my crash pad was literally like 15 minutes. But with the weather out here, it felt like 30. Like that mug was long. But yeah, so with that being said, I think I'm gonna take a lift. Um, thankfully, it's only six minutes away, so lift gonna be super cheap. I really like where we stay in Chicago because it's right across the street from an outlet mall and a movie theater. Um, and I actually haven't been to the outlet mall, so I think I might like walk around there for a little bit and then I'm gonna go to the movies. Um, the movie that I'm gonna see today is Wonka. Ah, so excited. I absolutely love the Willy Wonka with Johnny Depp, y'all. That's my movie, so hopefully this new man this new Wonka lives up to par. We gonna see. Real quick fit check, y'all know what's going on, okay? So today we rock in the black That's So Fetch sweatsuit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your girl finally got some new clothes. Y'all, I love this brand. I found it on Pinterest. I already know I'm the queen of comfort. I love wearing sweatpants. So they got this in like every single color. They got shorts, they got the t-shirt, they got the long sleeve, like they got everything. Like, and it's just like a really good quality. Cause like, I'm really, I'm really specific on my sweatpant quality. Like I need it to be, you know, up there. But yeah, so they got the little logo in the front. And then the back is really love. I don't know. I like the font, I guess. Like I said, they come in different colors too. And then we got the little, yeah, we got the little, yeah, yeah. Only thing is, y'all, I still haven't bought no shoes, but we gonna get there, okay? One thing at a time, please. All right, so this is what the coat looking like. Okay, look, coat action going on. I actually really like this coat. It's my work coat, um, but it's really good quality. So yeah, I like it. But yeah, so that's the fit. Um, let's head downstairs. Yes. Good, how are you? 
to do, got me feeling nostalgic Ancestors sending clues, I'm sending gratitude back Cause the whole world outside, sun in my eye A girl in my ride, head in the sky We gon' make it if we try, the truth never lie Wings we could fly, with you by my side Y'all almost thought I was gonna have to catch a lift back to the hotel because it's not even that it was snowing real hard, it's just that it was windy and it was literally blowing in the direction that I was walking. Um, but it ended up being really fun. I was like, nah, I'm gonna stick it out. All right, so boom, Giordano's. He told me when I ordered my pizza, it was gonna be about 45 minutes. So I was like, ooh, okay, y'all, make it fresh, make it fresh. Um, I was just listening to my podcast or whatever. Y'all, it came out. Tell me why it was like, it was not hot it was warm at best and then by the time i got to my third slice it was pretty cold and it's like when you're eating cheese i'll be wanting it to be hot like I, I don't like eating like room temperature cheese i'm like Ugh. you know it got like a whole bunch of like cheese pool or whatever so it's like by the third slice i was like eh, you know go ahead and box it up but the pizza is actually good but I just think that it definitely for 45 minutes, I, I was expecting a piping hot, you know what I'm saying? Probably would have been like an 8 or 8.5 had it been hot, but yeah, it wasn't bad at all. And then the movie, I think it was really good. The storyline was definitely a lot different than the one that I like to watch with Johnny Depp. That's one of my childhood favorites. Like, I could probably recite the entire movie. Love that one, but this one was actually really good too. And I think it was like a little bit more musical style, um, but I really liked the plot overall. So I would give that one um let's see i probably give that one a nine like it was really good anyway you guys the time is 7 8 p.m i'm about to head to bed let me tell you what we doing tomorrow okay y'all see it we doing chicago new orleans and then we're gonna do that turn so three legs total i got plenty meal prep so i don't have to buy no food for the rest of this trip i got three three things of chicken and rice and i also got some chicken salad with some bread i got some fruit um i got i got a whole bunch of stuff so we're gonna be set uh, i just wanted to go out today you know and kind of spend some time one thing i'm gonna always do is have a little fun on my layovers whenever i get the chance so y'all know that's why i love this job but anyways finna call it a night um i love you guys so 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 much and i'll talk to y'all in the morning y'all see right there that's the mall hold on there we go yeah, I'll make sure I go next time.
quick hour and 56 minutes um, and now we're about to do our Detroit turn and come right on back time okay this is what i'm gonna eat i just went downstairs to warm up my chicken and rice that what we looking like yes sir ski okay but before i eat i'm gonna hurry up and show y'all um everything that i ate today so this morning i don't think did i eat i didn't i didn't eat until the second flight y'all it's super early in the morning i don't really be hungry so the first thing that I ate this morning on the second flight, I had protein oatmeal. Yeah, I be munching on that. It's the instant oatmeal, maple and brown sugar, but it's the protein one, cause you know we gotta get the gains over here. So yeah, I had that um, in a coffee cup with some blueberries, of course. I put those in and then I also had a banana. I brought two bananas, so I got one left. But yeah, I had that for breakfast. I had, oh my gosh y'all, this is my favorite my absolute favorite i went all the way to trader joe's to get me um the wine country chicken salad if y'all got a trader joe's in your area and you like chicken salad 10 out of 10 definitely would recommend this y'all i love this so much y'all yeah, better come up here and get one of these what's that it's a chicken salad from where 81st deli What's on it? Superior. So I had that on two slices of bread. That's what I had for lunch along with some peanut butter crackers. So no more peanut butter crackers. Um, and then yeah, I'm finna have my meal prep right now for dinner. Like I said, I got plenty food with me. Like we racked up, we stacked up, we packed up. Little mukbang action, that's what y'all want? <laughs> Rice pilaf. And it's just some regular chicken breast seasoned. Sorry if it's kind of loud. I got the window open right here, but we landed. Let's see. First of all, all three flights today was super smooth, very uneventful, which I love. Last flight, we landed at 2.02 p.m. back in New Orleans. Took a while for the shuttle, but they finally came through. Got to the room, ate all my cookies. Gotta have my cookies, y'all. And I was so excited for this trip because both nights we were staying at the hotel that provide the cookies y'all know y'all know what hotel it is i ate my cookies i was just chilling for a little bit watching some youtube videos and then i literally just was sitting here on the floor talking to the lord people watching outside the window and now it is 7 10 p.m and i'm having dinner i really do enjoy doing flight attendant vlogs and i want to do more of them but it's like sometimes like i'm not always like going out doing stuff on my layover so i'm like what if y'all get tired of just seeing me do the same thing like but i guess i could always just show you guys different parts of the job too like it don't always just have to be me you know going out whenever i have a good layover i do want to show you guys how i set up my galley i am working a galley for this trip um i was gonna do it this morning but we was kind of rushing and we ended up boarding so i was like uh, I'll show y'all later. I'll show y'all a little bit, but I want to do like the whole rundown of how I set up the galley from start to finish. I personally really like organizing and setting things up, so the galley is my favorite position, but I also don't mind working a cabin. Um, anything but working in the front. You know, I don't really like working in the front, but I do enjoy, like, I don't mind working a cabin and working a galley. As I eat, I do kind of want to give you guys a little update um on how it's been being a flight attendant i just had recurrent um well not just it's been a few months now but i had recurrent on i had it on november 26th with that being said of course it's been a little bit over two years that i have been a flight attendant um and i just kind of want to tell you guys like how it's been going am i still enjoying it woo, doo, doo, woo. overall yes i am still very much enjoying the job and i can still say that this is the best job that i've ever had to date but i think like things are kind of like slowing down when i tell y'all the way open time 
been looking lately like it haven't been no trips to pick up y'all so it'll be certain trips on my line that i kind of want to switch out into something better but i mean it ain't nothing else to pick and like i told you guys i try to avoid red eye trips the best i can but when i tell you it'd be nothing it'll be like a turn here and there maybe and i'm like i really don't like personally working turns i would much rather it be a, a three or four day so it's like unless you constantly watching open time like the stock market like you going in every single hour you're not really gonna find that many sometimes i do find some diamonds in the rough okay sometimes i do find some gym trips but overall it really be like a desert land really ever since we switched to first come first serve i thought it would be better for open time but really like everything be getting ate up quick so for the most part i just work whatever's on my line but another reason i really don't trip on like finding additional trips is because i'm trying to set up my schedule in a certain way i'm kind of like in a stage where i want a little bit more stability in my schedule so i'm starting to pick lines where my trips fall on the weekend so that'll either be thursday through sunday or thursday through sunday saturday and then monday tuesday wednesday i'm looking on getting a second job my ideal schedule for the days that i'm home would be waking up in the morning hitting the gym um going to the library getting some editing done um devotional whatever i need to do with that um and then going to work at night so i'll do that on monday tuesday or monday tuesday wednesday and then thursday through sunday i'm flying that is my ideal schedule so of course i'm praying about that taking it to the lord because yeah we got to get some motion going then another thing that i want to talk to you guys about is travel where do i plan on going this year 2024 at this point i kind of been to a pretty good amount of major cities in the u.s all praises um that i've been able to experience these cities and now i'm kind of starting to see that they're all pretty much the same experience Experience. you know you go downtown that's where everything is popping um you know find a little restaurant to eat at you know there's things to do different museums aquariums things like that it's like kind of overall the same in all of the major cities so with that being said it's not really any other major cities here that i desire to travel to like outside of work at least not solo i'm definitely still going with friends and family but like me just solo traveling um i think i'm pretty good on it the only reason okay i will say the only reason that I will solo travel anywhere in the US now would be for amusement parks y'all already know okay <laughs> y'all already know how i feel about amusement parks i absolutely love them i want to do cedar point in sandusky ohio that's definitely the number one that's the number one amusement parks in the u.s for coasters like max thrill coasters so i want to plan a trip there but outside of that you guys i'm really interested in traveling international sorry the exposure i feel like it's kind of bright hold on i think i remember telling you guys the story but i just remember like my senior year of high school i was literally in the library during lunchtime, like researching different places to go in thailand like i'm setting up the whole itinerary I'm trying to do um bangkok and phuket and maybe chiang mai i think that's how you say it chiang mai i definitely want to knock out those two or three places and i also want to stay in a hostel it'll be my first time staying in a hostel i've been researching different ones like i don't know i'm excited y'all then the second destination that i have in mind is japan um all i know is tokyo so far i haven't really done as much research on japan but definitely tokyo i know i'm like a hotel fanatic so i love staying at different types of hotels this is what the hotel look like and them is all little capsule beds it's so long that's how you open it bro that is love so yeah i definitely want to stay in those for a couple nights while i'm there so that's the two main destinations that i would like to go to i also want to go on a cruise i've never been on a cruise before my mom has been begging me begging me she want to take me and my brother on a cruise i also really really want to do a solo cruise y'all but when it comes to cruises honestly you get a lot more bang for your buck when you're traveling with people like i feel like cruises are not solo travel friendly like bro you paying buku before you even step on there if my first cruise is with you know my mom and my family then i would probably maybe i would try like a five or i don't know about no seven okay but maybe a five day i could do like by myself i don't know i'm not sure probably start off with carnival but virgin voyages all the tiktoks that i've seen of virgin voyages that definitely look like the move too but yeah so that's pretty much all the travel plans that i'm open to this year um definitely working on budgeting so that god willing i'm able to go to these places uh i 
still thank God all the time for like just allowing me to get this job to be able to travel at a discounted price. Like I'm very, very grateful for that. But yeah, y'all, I think I've done enough yapping. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn y'all loose. Um, I just kind of wanted to update you guys on my life and like how things have been going with the job, you know, and my different like travel plans. I have been a little quiet, you know, because ultimately I was just like in a place of learning and listening to the Holy Spirit. But now he's like, I need you to get back out there and do what I told you to do. So this is me being obedient, back with my loves. Um, my camera's about to die. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Love, love, love you guys so much. Um, tomorrow is go home day, Sunday. So I'll go over with y'all tomorrow. I think I got two flights tomorrow. Yeah, I got two flights tomorrow. So I'll go over those. I'm gonna go ahead and turn y'all loose, okay? And enjoy the rest of my night. about 8:40 ish right now um and i just been sitting here doing my little devotional and of course i got a little word for y'all a little sunday sermon to kind of end out the vlog i don't want to yap for too long because i know i've been yapping this whole vlog um but i gotta share this with you guys i just want to touch on the topic of obedience so i was led to read the story of jonah today um if you guys haven't read it basically as soon as jonah get thrown into the water boom he end up getting swallowed by a whale and he's in there for three days and three nights what we get from the scripture is that he's definitely in pain um it says i cried out to the lord because of my affliction and he answered me so clearly this was not a comfortable situation so i say that to say if there's anything that you know that you should be doing right now or anything that you know you should not be doing right now you need to go ahead and heed to that voice because there is consequences for our actions and a lot of people you know a lot of people like to say like oh like this ain't nothing but the devil working in my life but really it's like the consequences of your own actions bro like everything is not the devil but at the same time your disobedience does actually pave a way for the devil to seep in and actually start working in your life so that's why it's so important to be obedient even when your flesh does not feel like doing it y'all remember getting in trouble with your mama and you getting yelled at you getting a beat down and then right after she like all right now get up and do what i told you to do bro that's exactly what happens always remember that chastisement does not feel good in the moment but it's working for your good if you never would have gotten in trouble for not cleaning your room when you was younger now that you're an adult you would have been a dirty slob so you gotta say mama thank you for beating me down when i did not clean my room like it's simple that's the little message i got for y'all today all right be obedient do what you're supposed to be doing and do not run from your calling now i'm about to hurry up and run downstairs get this little quick workout in um i love this hotel y'all that we stay at in new orleans because the breakfast starts at 2 30 during the week the breakfast is from 2 30 to 10 30 a.m but today is sunday of course so breakfast is from i believe like 6 30 to 11 so i'm about to go down here uh get in like a quick little 30 minute workout i'm gonna have some breakfast come up here shower you know and woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. our report time today is at 2 20 p.m we got new orleans to tampa and then tampa back to houston this is what it's looking like the block time not looking very bad at all so i think it'll be a pretty easy day pretty easy day indeed i do my best to show you guys how i set up my galley today um if not then definitely in the next vlog uh what else did i cover everything uh yeah i think i pretty much covered everything uh love 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 you guys so so much and i'll talk to y'all in my next vlog mm -hmm.